Good evening, ladies and men. <laughs> My name is Carol Sue, and I'm a comic, and I love it. Although, I'm not exactly sure how I feel about being a member of a profession where the highest compliment a woman can receive is, lady, you have balls. <laughs> Unless you're referring to my ex-husband's balls. I do have them. And the house. So, I was born just in time for the 1950s. I guess you could call me a mid-century modern. I am a grandma. You didn't see that coming, did you? <laughs> I know I'm old. Men don't turn their heads to watch me cross the street anymore. Back in the day, I was a blonde starlet making the rounds in Hollywood, armed with my masters in theater and my minor in unemployment. <laughs> I was a 36 double D and I stopped traffic. Now I'm a 36 double long. <laughs> and I gotta watch out traffic doesn't run me over. And the American Dialect Society came out with its list of the top words for the year. And I find out I'm a Mellencamp. Mellencamp's one of the top words. A Mellencamp is a woman who has aged out of being a cougar. <laughs> I've got two words for the American Dialect Society. The first one I can't say on network television, and the second one is you. <laughs> and you know, I gotta tell you, the worst thing about growing old is you never expect it to happen to you. So every single step comes as a complete surprise. About my eyes were the first to go. Ten minutes after I turned 40, I was sitting in a restaurant, reading a menu. It was in Chinese, but I was in IHOP. <laughs> and then everything got blurry and I was scared. After an emergency examination, the eye doctor said, You're not going blind. What a relief. You're just getting old. What a jerk. <laughs> If you live long enough, you will go blind. But I wouldn't worry about it. It's not likely you'll live that long. And he wrote me a prescription for my first pair of granny glasses. My new F word is 50. 50 years, that's a big deal for anything. And as you get closer to that magical date, you start wanting something to commemorate those 50 trips around the sun. Something 24 karat gold would be nice. You know what I got for my 50th birthday? A mustache. <laughs> Only I didn't know it because I couldn't see it. And that's why God gave us children. My teenage daughter said, I will die if my friends see you with that big hairy mustache on your face. What? I raced to Walgreens and I bought a 10 times magnifying mirror. Sure enough, I was Tom Selleck's sister. <laughs> and for you young people here in the room tonight, a few of you, I want to forewarn you because you should be prepared when this happens to you because it is in your 50s that you have the worst, most horrible, terrible day in your life. The pain you will never forget. I found a pair of candy apple red high heels and they fit my feet and they were on sale and they had toe cleavage. I was so happy. And the clerk handed me my receipt, and she said, in addition to the sale price, you got an extra 20% off for your senior citizen discount. 
I said, how dare you? You put that 20% back on my bill right now. Don't let the mustache fool you, young lady. But now, you like my new sweater? I bought it at Forever 61. <laughs> And when I flashed my AARP card, they gave me an extra 10% off. I have accepted my maturity, and I demand discounts. 50 years ago, I was a teenager growing up in the 1960s. We had war, protests, race riots, police brutality. It was a lot like today. <laughs> Only a couple of things have changed since I became a grandma. Back in the 1960s when you were having sex, the girl took the pill. When you're having sex in your 60s, the guy takes the pill. <laughs> and when you're having sex in your 60s, there are no hard bodies in the room. It's more like hardly bodies. And you better be sure that your partner's got good enough eyesight that he can find you in the bedroom. <laughs> Randy, where are you going? I'm over here on the bed. Follow the sound of my voice. You're walking into the... You walked into the closet. Oh, please come out of the closet. And one time he was nibbling my ear and he swallowed my earring. And when we're having sex in our 60s, we never know for sure if we're having an orgasm, or a muscle spasm, <laughs> or a stroke. But we don't care, because we're just happy to be alive and having sex.